Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another entry in our Community Cast series. In this match, we're going to have a showdown between the Greenskins, who shall be led by Cheeks Total War, and he's going to be facing off against the Skaven, who shall be led by the God of Gobos, who appears to be betraying his own people, but we'll see how it works out for him. So as far as the build goes, here for the Greenskins, in the front, they do have a Goblin Great Shaman and Vanguard, and it's a bit of a bold strategy, Cotton, as he has been discovered very quickly. And you can see the Gisales and other uh, Skaven troops are going to be opening up shops. So he does take a couple shots here. And he is very squishy. You can see his leadership's already 27. So uh, perhaps I'll have to run away and scheme for another day. We will find out. Aside from that, the Greenskins do have a front line, which is going to mostly be Orc Boys. And Orc Boys, uh, you know, there's a big, no, I wouldn't say a big debate, but some people think that basic goblins are better because they have silver shields and their stats aren't that different in terms of like a cost per cost analysis. But the Orc Boys in the front line do have shields, so they're going to be okay against some of the Skaven missiles, pebbles, slingers, all that kind of stuff. And they have okay stats, 28, uh, 25, and 34. So the weapon strength isn't bad, and if they're fighting Skaven Slaves and Clan Rats and things like that, they can do some work. So we'll see how these Orc Boys do in the front line. Looks like it's going to be the entire front line, with the exception of a couple of ROR Goblins. So he does have to 8 peak loonies. I do not know if he has a second group of ROR Goblins, but it looks like it might just be those guys. In the back, he has a couple of Goblin Archers. Goblin Archer is pretty good against like Rad Ogres for their cost and the Lightly Armored Troops on the Skaven roster, which... Aside from, you know, the Doom Wheels and Flares and things like that, there's plenty of good targets. You can see the Skaven player here does have plague, uh, the Plague Pack. I was about to say Plague Bears because I just played a game of 40k against like 90 Plague Bears. So they're just kind of stuck in the back of my mind. But he does have the Goblin Archers here to shoot down some of these squishier targets. And it looks like he does not have the Rusty Errors. It looks like it's just going to be standard Goblin Archers with uh, some Orc Air Boys up here who do have better AP. Now, one of the uh, the real breadwinners in this army is going to be the Arachnoc Spider. Now, this now does have Anti-Large. So this is something that did change with the Prophet and the Warlock. And uh, that's going to be pretty crucial because otherwise the Wheels of Doom and these other Skaven contraptions would just run shop on his army. So at least he has some anti-large here, but still going to be really tough. This is a pretty nasty little Skaven force. He also has some trolls. Trolls can be very good against Doom Wheels and Flares. They are low leadership, so sometimes Doom Wheels will tear out them, but they're very susceptible against missile attacks from the Skaven. But if you're able to get them on those juicy targets, they can take things to Pound Town. He's got the Hammer of Gork. He's got a lot of piggies. So just standard Orc Boar Boys here. Orc Boar Boys, Orc Boar Boys. So a lot of anti-infantry stuff, which honestly, they're not terrible against large either. I mean, yeah, I don't know. The Orc Boar, Orc Cav are always a little bit haggard, but nonetheless, I mean, they do have AP. So at least they can punt to the Doom Players. He's got the Chief Robbers and the Jerkid Squeaks on the far side of the map. And that is pretty much it. Now for the Skaven and the God of Gobos. He does have Icky Claw on the Doom Wheel. The Doom Wheel here is... Uh, Quite nasty against Greenskins. Causes Terry. He has the Brass Orb, which has been nerfed, but nonetheless very good against Bob's Infantry. Howling Warp Gale against Azag, and also Warp Lightning. Over here, he does also have the Wheels of Doom, so going to be coming in with the dreaded Double Doom Wheel. But that's not all, folks. He does also have two Doom Players in the back. I don't know if he has ROR. I do not believe he does. So just standard Doom Players. Whole front line is going to be standard Clan Rats. And honestly, with green, when you're facing Greenskins, you're mostly going to lose the, the fight. So in terms of the frontline fight. So you don't need to invest a lot. Honestly, I would recommend just getting slaves and clan rats and winning with your rat ogres and your wheels and your gunfire and things like that. That's pretty much it for that. He does also have the plague pack. The plague pack is going to be pretty scary. It does also give immune to psych. So for example, if the Arachnox spider is to come in and try and get a tear out on some of these troops, it will make them immune to psychology. But this guy is, you know, can break down green skin infantry very, very fast. But the problem with him is he's also very squishy in his own right. So they can take damage from like Goblin Archers and stuff. Uh, Natty Bubo Sharpshooters, Rad Ogres in the back, Rad Ogres. And uh, that's pretty much it. So a very aggressive, almost a Limp Biscuit army. But of course, most people uh, who are just going to be going with builds like this sometimes like to slip in the Sharpshooters just because they're such a goddamn good unit. So here in the beginning, the Doom Wheels are going to be splitting up. One is going to be going this direction. And the other is going to be going the other direction. Obviously, the spider can't be everywhere at once. And it looks like the Goblin Shaman is going to be using that Vindictive Glare, which does a little bit of damage. And the Archer is getting some withering damage as well. But the Wheels of Doom are going to be coming in false deep here. Probably, I'm surprised he didn't try and get in there. But he's going to be running for the spider from now. In the meantime, the Orcs in the forest. We have some Orc Boars over here and the trees lurking. And on the other side, we have a big wave of Greenskin Troops coming in, including this just deep Vanguard back here. I'm not sure where they're really going, but they should probably come back to this battle right now. In the meantime, the Greenskin forces are going to be trudging through the swamp. Obviously, the uh, Sharpshooters are going to be super good against the Arachnarch Spider. I mean, he 100% needs to make sure to focus that guy down. If anything, I may be getting the Sharpshooter a little bit further back and just leaving some Rad Ogres with it, but I guess it has a little bit more protection here. So the Spider is going to be surging forward. The wheels are now going to be just charging into these Greenskins here in the swamp. These guys are just going to straight up get run over by Icky Claw and this player. Definitely not fun times for him. And you can see in the back, the Archers are uh, going to be given a little bit of a helping fire, but again, not a ton of AP on those guys. But now that the main battle is kind of underway and there is some pressure on the Skaven army, you can see the Goblin Great Shaman is going to be emerging from the forest, uh, cackling and, uh, you know, letting his fellow lads know the schemes. And a very, very good Gorkle fix it. So Gorkle fix it going down here, which does slow him by 50%, putting him down to 21 speed. And that means the Spider here, who now has the buff and the wah, 
A very beautiful timing here from the Greenskin player. So you can see here that the Spider's going to get in there, do some really good damage against Icky Call. The Trolls are also coming in for Pound Town, and that Gorkle fix it. A very, very good ability. Brass Orb is going to be going down to the back against Goblin Archers, does a little bit of work, and as expected, uh, well, I guess, I mean, based on what we saw with Doom Players and everything, typically Greenskins can hold a little bit longer, but the Orc Boys and stuff just getting crumped by Doom Players. Doom Players are just so good at crumping those gets. So here in the front, Rad Ogres and company uh, are actually having to fall back. The Greenskins here doing a little bit better. As you can see, they have Gloonies, and these boys have overwhelmed this flank, but that's just because there's no flares or wheels over there. As soon as they get in there, it's going to be scary. Now the Jadales in the back are continuing to go after the Spider, who is does have some slight cover in the trees, but some of the Durkid Squigs and the uh, Teeth Robbers are going to be charging in here. So the Teeth Robbers may be thinking about going in. They 100% should. But maybe they're going to be pulling back. Oh no, he's actually maybe just waiting for everything to come in. Anyways, they're going to be reacting right now, going to engage these Rat Ogres and uh, just swarming in with the Orc War Boys. So they're not big in, so they don't have the anti-large. But yeah, the Greenskin Tide is just kind of piling in. They're routing, but they're coming back. They're routing and coming back. But here in the back line, you can see the entire Greenskin Missile core a little bit compromised here. Some of the Archers are in trouble. Uh, these Doom Players and Aikiklar are just kind of having their way. And the Goblin Great Shaman obviously can't do much against them, right? Up here, the Spider is uh, surrounded. There's Rat Ogres kind of clubbing on it. There's a bunch of Clan Rats, Clan Rats with Spears. The Spider could probably run through the forest and get a little bit of a, you know, a better angle here. But I believe large units do take a penalty when they fight in the forest. So he probably wants to kind of stay in the open field and... He needs to make sure that he is focusing the Rat Ogres down, because those are the real AP threats there. Now in the back, you can see the Orc Warboids. You actually get pushed off by the Rat Ogres and some of these uh, Clan Rats with Spears. He 100% needs to get these uh, Teeth Robbers and chase on top of the Natty Bubo Sharpshooters. But it looks like he was trying to surge force with this Bacon instead, so we had a whole other contingent of Orc Warboid Biggins, which are going to be surging out. And they actually get a really nice charge here on the Natty Bubos. Not all of those poor gits made it, but some of them did, and they're going to be jumping on the Natty Bubo Sharpshooters. Teeth Robbers and all these Cav units are going to be swarming in. So the Sharpshooters in the back are going to be in a little bit of trouble. Now, Bounce Fire is pretty heavily in the favor of the Skaven at this point. A lot of things are going pretty well for the Skaven. They do have a nice pin here against the Arachnarch Spider. And the Doom Players and Ikiklar are pretty much just running rampant. But the Greenskins are a resilient folk. You can see these uh, Goblet Archers, and they're a hardy folk, I should say. And the Orc Airboys and Company are going to be coming back. And that's going to be some pretty good damage against this very beat up Plague Pack. It actually took a massive amount of damage from those Orc Boars, as well as some of the uh, Greenskin Goblins and infantry there. So. Yeah, those guys really uh, took a bit of a beating, man. That's pretty intense. So the spider is able to kind of squeak away from that bad engagement there. Well, I guess uh, the rat squeak. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. But it got away from that engagement. And the Wild Hogs Goon Squad was able to finish off the Sharpshooters. I'm pretty sure they don't have anything left. It looks like they are indeed shattered. In the distance, a very nice Warp Lightning, camp, warp lightning Blast going down on the Goblin Archers. And Ikit Claw and his uh, Doom Wheel Squad just kind of going after the Archers and the threats that can really poke them and take away their freedom because uh, the archers obviously can dictate the terms of the battle. So if he gets rid of the archers and all the boars and stuff, he's going to be in pretty good shape. And again, that bounce power is still very heavily in the favor of this game. Here in the hills, we do have a fight. The Orc War Boys, as well as the Dirk at Squeak Hoppers, are going to be fighting against Rat Ogres and Doom Players. They're most certainly going to lose a fight, just sheer numbers. Clan Rats, all those other guys are going to be able to do some uh, really solid work against them. In the back, the Goblin Great Shame is still here, though. And the Arachnox Spider's in okay shape, so that's uh, something that, you know, forebodes uh, quite well here for the uh, Greenskins. The Arachnox Spider is going to be pretty good against most of the threats here. Obviously, Rat Ogres and Clan Rats and things like that can kind of poke it down, but it still has 150 armor. So Rat Ogres are really the only thing that's going to be super efficient against it. Uh, Wheels of Doom also can do okay. It has decent armor piercing values, but again, 29 melee attack against what's the melee defense in this thing? Yeah, it's only 30, so I guess it makes some okay contact. Now, the Bounce Power is still in the favor of the Skaven, ebbing a little bit back and forth, back and forth as this battle does grind on. Rat Ogres here in the back are going to be fighting these Orc Air Boys, but they're no mere goblins. I mean, they'll, they'll fight a little bit longer and obviously almost have the stat line of Orc Boys. Some crossfire coming in from the Goblin Archers starting to wear these uh, Rat Ogres down a little bit, but yeah, it's a, it looks like the Skaven, I mean, have pretty good battlefield control. You can see the Doom Flayers here are just uh, intercepting, and Doom Flayers are actually pretty good at hunting down Chariot units because they have good mass, despite their nerfs. I mean, they can still do some serious work. So the Doom Flayers going to be pitting those guys down. Here in the forest, we have some Orc Boar Boys. Let me actually take a quick sip of water here, guys. I've been casting a lot today. Man, I've cast like four or five battles. My voice is getting a little bit raw, but alas, we are here and we're going strong, baby. So they peak Looney's going to continue fighting. These guys are the true heroes of the Goblin people. 154 kills right now. He's in the swamps fighting. Orc War Boys are going to be coming motivated by the sight of the Goblins still fighting to the bitter end. And a lot of these Gaven troops are going to break. Oh, and these trolls coming out of nowhere with the steel chair. I do not know where those guys have been for the longest time, but it looks like they're back. Maybe they chase something off the battlefield. That is a huge variable here because those guys, of course, regenerate. And uh, they're going to be able to, especially with the assistance of some goblins and some gits, they're going to be able to crump all over these guys and uh, beat down those rat ogres. I mean, their stat line is just objectively pretty good. Uh, 34, 32, 100 against 34, 26, 66. So, I mean, they hit harder. They also regenerate. Rat ogres do not, so that is pretty good. Now, if we look at the battlefield, it's a bit of just anarchy. we got rat ogres here in the back. we got doom players here. All three models are alive. And it looks like the wheels of doom are going to be chasing down the goblin shaman. So he's definitely going to have to run here. I mean, uh, it could clock it. I mean, anything could really kill this night goblin shaman.
So some of the piggies are going to be coming back in. Gorfil Fix It does get popped to slow down the Wheels of Doom. Uh, these are not Orc Boy by Biggin, so they're not going to be super good, but they're still going to do some damage. You can see a couple hundred HP there getting uh, chipped off the Wheels of Doom. About 200, give or take. But unfortunately, the Orc Boy Boys probably will break, uh, you know, or, or I guess Terror Rod, I should say. And yeah, you can see Doom Players coming in, all these other troops, but... You know, there is something that's going well for the Greenskins. I mean, they have this Arachnorok Spider who's just been an unholy terror. I mean, it just, everything pretty much runs from it. And uh, once the battle is very decentralized, it's it's a little bit tougher for it to get its value. You can see a Vindictive Glare going down, blasting some of uh, his own orcs. You know, maybe just sending him a message about running here. So there are some piggies left over here. And the Skaven are actually in a bit of a mass route over here. These trolls have just been doing the work of uh, Gork and Work. I mean, they've just been clubbing these guys. Rad Ogres are losing this fight. The three AP Gloonies still going, but these trolls have been going strong. I mean, look at this Skaven Force they buckled. And yes, it's mostly chaff and just kind of crappy units, but that's still an accomplishment. Oh, look at this. And the Teeth Robbers are still online, and they still have five of their six models. So if he gets these Teeth Robbers back online and starts chasing down some of these retreating infantry, that could be something he may need to get back in this game here. But the Rad Ogres, in the meantime, are going to be fighting against the Piggies here, and we have a very drawn-out fight in the Swamp. But the trolls, you know, they live in the Swamp, and even though they break here, it's not a big deal. They're going to run away. They're going to regenerate and probably come back and be a threat. Although, God of Goblins should probably get something and maybe chase him off the battlefield. This is a very, you know, powerhouse unit, and they still have a lot of ways until their healing cap, so he should chase him off for sure. Now, if we look around, Goblin Great Shaman's okay. We do have the Arachnox Spider, who's going to continue hunting down the Doom Players here. It's a pretty good little opportunity to get those guys off the battlefield. That's a pretty, you know, expensive unit for the Skaven. It still has three of its three fighting models and almost half HP, so getting rid of that is going to be incredibly good. So, man, this has turned into a real slobber knocker. Very, very close fight. The trolls have come back here, but um, he needs to kind of solidify them, with, a, especially with the Goblin Great Shaman, so they can get some encouragement and fight a little bit better. The Doom Wheel is going to be unifying with the Rat Ogres here. And if we look around, so Skaven, let's take inventory. Wheels of Doom, Rat Ogres. Here in the back, we have Doom Players. And those guys are probably going to get chased off by the Arachnar Queen, I would imagine, or Spider, excuse me, not the Queen. Here in the distance, we have a bit of a... Uh, just a chase down. Yeah, and look at this. The value from these Thief Robbers being alive, being able to chase off seven Rat Ogres is just, it's just, it's it's priceless. It's priceless. So they're going to be able to chase those guys off. So both players on very even fronts right now. And uh, the Wheels of Doom and I believe AK Claw might have gotten killed by those trolls earlier. Maybe we didn't see it. Let's actually go ahead and take a look. I think AK Claw did get taken out by the trolls or chased off. And that's why we didn't see them on their great exodus there. So the new wheel is going to be coming in here. It is out of ammunition, so there's not going to be any more funky uh, blasts coming out of the front, which is its real strength. But nonetheless, it's not going to take much to break some goblin archers. Uh, three leadership. They're going to be going negative here in a moment, wavering, terrified. You know, you guys get the picture. So bounce power is still slightly in the favor of the Skaven, as they do have the Limp Biscuit Flares here, and they do also have the Wheels of Doom. But, you know, the longer this fight goes, the more these trolls regenerate. And yeah, but the problem with going after the Wheels of Doom right now with the trolls is they can get terror routed. Uh, fear doesn't affect trolls because they themselves cause fear, but terror does. So if it gets terror routed by those guys, it could be a little bit scary. But oh, 10 leadership, they're holding on. This is really big. I mean, if these trolls can do a number on these uh, players, which they're basically a hard counter to, it's going to be very good. Now, they probably would keep fighting even at like 10, 5, 7 leadership. But with the Wheels of Doom coming in for the rear charge, it's going to be an instant break here. So you can see it goes from 5 to negative 34. Those guys are uh, down and out, they're broken, and they're most certainly not going to be coming back. They've shattered, uh, they've been broken so many times uh, that they've bent and they've broken. So here we do have the Goblin Great Shaman. He was still alive, and it's the Arachnox Spider. So the Arachnox Spider is uh, pretty much a counter to everything that's left. I mean, a very, very hard counter against the Doom Flayer and the Doom Wheel, both of which are meant against infantry. This thing is just tanky, it has poison attacks, it has plenty of ammunition. So eventually it's going to have to come and fight. So you can see here the Skaven do have the Flare right here. They're going to be gathering their forces in the forest, the Wheels of Doom here, and the Rat Ogres. But I still just don't think they're going to be able to kill this Arachnorok Spider. I mean, this thing is just uh, you know designed for this. The, maybe getting a surround, it doesn't have the best leadership if you look. It only has like 59 right now because it's a little bit beat up here. But actually is able to poison these guys and catch these Doom Flares. That's pretty impressive. So losing a Flare right here is going to be a little bit tricky before the main fighting starts. I mean, but the Flares are going to turn and fight here. Obviously, they are large entities, so the anti-large and the spider, which I think was a very good change by CA there. But look at that. The Flare gets just routed. Look at the bounce of power just skyrocket in favor of the Greenskins. The Wheels of Doom are going to be charging in against the Arachnox Spider. And the Rat Ogre is coming in as well, but this spider means business. I mean, it's like the Honey Badger here. It does not give a shit. And you can also see the Goblin Great Shaman going to be swooping around. Maybe looking for a sweet opportunity to come help, but I mean, why would he need to fight? Just let the spider fight. I mean, maybe if something breaks, chase it off. Like, if, for example, the Arachnar Queen was able to tear out something. Oh, and the Teeth Robbers coming into the back! And they're going to be attacking the Wheels of Doom. And the Wheels of Doom is very low, so maybe even the Teeth Robbers can finish it. And you can see here the Rat Ogres are going to break. The spider is probably going to just surge forward or maybe chase the Rat Ogres off. I'd probably get the Goblin Great Shaman to chase those guys off, but either way, it's going to be fun. Yeah, and look at that. You can see the Greenskin player is going to be doing that. So the Arachnox Spider probably wants to come in right here and attack the Wheels of Doom. What a great game between these two players. Very, very good stuff here. So the Arachnox Spider chasing those guys. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? Just chase those guys off the battlefield and then take the final engagement. But yeah, it looks like he's going to be going for the final countdown. 
Nobody wants to mess with the spider. It does have those poison attacks from the top that you poison. And you can see here the Doom players only have two models, but a little bit of a surround. The spider doesn't have the best leadership right now. Let's take a look. It's at uh, 44. Not bad, but oh man, those Thief Robbers coming back in. Five models. That rear charge is most certainly going to break this game in forces. Very well played, and that is going to be game blouses to the Greenskins. Man, great match. That was a really good one. So I just want to sincerely thank Cheeks Total War for sending that in. And for anyone who's wondering, Cheeks Total War is a, a gentleman who uh, messaged me and said he has started a YouTube channel as well. So if you guys are interested in checking out his channel, please do. There will be a link in the comment section below. Certainly a great replay. That was very, very fun to watch. I really thought, you know, his army was just going to get crumbled horribly by the Skaven Force with all the Doom Wheels. But the Spider and the Trolls, like, really ended up being MVPs. I mean, those guys did a ton of work, a ton of heavy lifting. Even though their kills didn't reflect that. That was pretty good. And of course, this little Goblin Grey Shaman was able to scurry away. And the Skaven here, I mean, I like that force. It was pretty nasty. I felt like the uh, the Natty Boo of Sharpshooters like, should have been able to do more to that spider, but I guess that they did get nerfed recently. It's not. It, was, it wasn't like the biggest nerf in the world, but I guess it does make a difference. But yeah, you just didn't have too much anti-large. Everything was designed for just running over a green skin infantry blob. So when there was a big spider and trolls and things, he didn't have too many good answers aside from just cheap clan rats. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe the Sharpshooters were shooting the wrong target, so they just got compromised too early. But had they been able to shoot, for another couple minutes, they probably could have dragged down the Queen or something. I think that would have been pretty valuable. But uh, very well played to both players. Cheeks Total War. And again, make sure to check out his channel if you're interested. And uh, the God of Gobbos. So thank you guys so much for sending in this replay. Hopefully you enjoyed the screen skin first Gaven Showdown. And we will see you guys next time. Take care.